Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to install Linux on Hyper-V. So we're going to be doing this on a Windows 10 professional computer. So if you're doing it on the Windows desktop version, you know, 10 or 11, uh, you have to have Pro. You can't do it on Home. So if you don't have Hyper-V configured, uh, you could go to uh, Programs and Features, uh, turn Windows features on or off, and then look for Hyper-V here. Make sure you have both those checked. And then you'll have to do a reboot so it could do its uh, configuration, then you should be good to go there. All right, so now that we have a Hyper-V installed, we're going to click on our server here, new virtual machine. Uh, click on next here. We're going to call this Ubuntu 22. And we're going to keep this in our Hyper-V uh, VMs folder here, if you don't want to keep it in the default. Uh, we're going to leave a Generation 1 just for compatibility. Now for memory, we're going to change this. Let's do 6144, 6 gigabytes. You can leave dynamic if you want. You know, you probably don't need that much for Linux, but I have 32 gigs on this machine, so I could spare it. Okay, we'll pick the default switch for the network connectivity for Internet. All right, so we'll create the virtual hard disk because we don't have one. I'm just going to make this 60 because I don't need a big disk for this. And it's going to put it in the same location as we created the uh, uh, virtual machine here. Okay, so now for the operating system, we're going to use an ISO file. So, you know, you could go to uh, the uh, Ubuntu website or Debian or whatever and download their ISO file. So we got that there. Let's do the uh, Ubuntu 22. Click on Next. And then finish. Okay, so we'll double click it to open the console and start it. Okay, so now while we're here, we'll do a try or install Ubuntu. Okay, so now you have the choice to either try Ubuntu or install it. So if you try it, it'll run it from the uh, ISO file or CD if you're using a CD. Uh, but then when you turn off your computer, anything you change will be wiped out. So we're going to do the installation. Pick your language. And I'm going to do minimal just for the sake of time here. You probably want to do normal if you plan on using this for, you know, other stuff. And you probably want to leave this check too to download updates where you're installing, but I'm doing this you know, for demonstration purposes, so I'm going to disable that. All right, so now uh, that the virtual disk file we made, it's going to erase it, install it, and create its own partitions. If you want to do it yourself, you could pick that. We're just going to click on Install Now. Okay, so we're going to write changes to the disk. We'll click on Continue. This is what it's going to do to it. Okay, so we'll pick our time zone here, Los Angeles for West Coast here. All right, so now we need to uh, make a name here. Uh, we'll just call this Bob and computer name. Put the numbers lock on there, 22. Okay, Bob username, make a password. Then you could have it log you in automatically if you not if you don't care about security. All right, so now it's going to copy some files, so this might take some time. So we'll pause the video for this and then come back when it's done. All right, so now it's doing the actual installation here. So we'll pause again and be back when that's done. Okay, so the installation took some time and it just wants to reboot. So I'll go ahead and do that. You might want to uh, disconnect the ISO file from your CD drive when before you do so, just so it doesn't boot from it again. Just like that. We'll see what happens. We'll just press Enter.
Okay, so now it wants to connect your accounts, which is optional. We'll skip this. Skip the live patch. Not going to send any information. I'll leave the location off. Up to you. Ready to go. Done. So now we can see we have our Linux desktop and we have our apps and all the other good stuff. You know, basic stuff. Then you just have to install other apps as needed. See what happens if we go online here. Okay, we've got Firefox website. Let's see what happens if we go to Google, for example. Yep, just like that. All right, so let's get back out of here. Yeah, so once again, once you get Hyper-V installed and configured, just go through these steps to install your virtual machine, and then you'll be up and running with Linux. And of course, you don't have to use Ubuntu. You could use whatever you like. Uh, you might have better luck with Ubuntu, but you know you could try different ones and see which ones work the best for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.